One amazing pro bono experience I had uh, began about eight years ago. Uh, a lady by the name of Marianne Scully had a daughter of 31 years, and her daughter also had a son, young son, and as a result of ingesting a drug, uh, she died. Marianne called me, and I'll never forget the telephone call initially that we had. She told me that she did not want to file a lawsuit because she did not feel like that was her mission or her purpose. And that is not the way that she wanted to deal with her daughter's death. She told me that she had the means to support and take care of her grandson, but she really didn't have the ability to pay a lawyer for advice. What she told me was interesting. She wanted advice and guidance on what she could do and how a resource that she could lean on because she wanted to uh, advocate and uh, explain to other people that may come in contact with this drug what the dangers of the drugs were. She was an amazing advocate and this lady's story had amazing impact on me. Her passion and her zealous advocacy on her daughter's behalf uh, has always been a, a huge inspiration to me. Here's what she did. Through her efforts, her blogging, her writing, her reaching out to the FDA, and many discussions with several attorney generals across the country. She was able to help bring the executives to this large pharmaceutical company to justice. They were criminally prosecuted and successfully so, and a great deal in a part to what she did. It's amazing the way that she uh, has, has dealt with this issue, and for her, it was her way of, of recognizing and remembering and uh, uh, celebrating the life of her daughter. And uh, Mary Ann Skolik is somebody who I'm always uh, thrilled that I've had the opportunity to, to represent and continue to represent.